And we are back here at White Mountain today having a good time with Mr. Christopher Bellis from Chef's Bistro. Good morning, Christopher. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Better now that you're here and you brought me treats. So well, yeah. I always try to please you. Oh my goodness. Chef's Bistro. You can't go wrong with Chef's Bistro. How long have you guys been in business now? We've been in business about a year and a half now. A year and a half. So yes. a year and a half of bringing fresh food. I'm just getting my fork ready. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Of bringing fresh food farm to table type, um, I want to say sequence, but the atmosphere in there. You want to bring fresh stuff, you make all your recipes from scratch. That's true. Wonderful. And we also have full bar service at the restaurant and kids menu is also available. And so, what time can people get in there during the day? Uh, we are open from 11 in the morning until either 9 o'clock during the week or 10 okay. o'clock on weekends. Seven days a week? Seven days a week. Oh my goodness. So yeah. let's talk about some of the delectable items. I know <clears throat> all of them are good. Yes. But let's talk about some of your personal favorites that they should try absolutely when they come in. Well, one of my personal favorites on the small plates is the roasted cauliflower. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very simple uh, recipe. And, you know, you basically blanch <coughs> cauliflower and then uh, put some cheese and mm -hmm. some seasonings on top and put it in the oven for, you know, about 10 minutes. And then it comes out with a nice little toasted top and soft and delectable. And, you, you know, it's yeah. just absolutely delicious. In Served with a tomato jam. Mm -hmm. You know, which is tomato jam. I've never even heard of that before. And cauliflower is one of those surprising vegetables. A lot of people do so many things with cauliflower, and this is just the roasted. I imagine yep. is good. Does it come out crispy? It comes crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. So, I and is it a bowl plate? How, it's how served it in a bowl, you know, and then you know, usually it's served. Uh, you know, multiple people are eating off of it, so they mm. take a little bit out of the bowl and put it on their plate and. That Eat away. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Now let's talk some entrees too. Um, you have meat, but you also have vegetarian and gluten free. That's true. You know, and so our ve we have a vegetable curry dish, uh, which is very tasty for the vegetarians in the mix. We also have a chicken piccata, which is served with pappardelle pasta, which I know is one of the favorites from for a lot of people at the restaurant. Um, right. And then we have, uh, you know, our ribeye steak, mm. which is, you know. Um, absolutely delicious. Good. Now let's bring us to dessert. Well, the dessert I brought today is actually uh, representative of something else that I wanted to talk about today, which yeah. is uh, the March Maple Madness Tour, which is taking place today from 10.30 right. to 5. Yep. It's sponsored by the Bed and Breakfast Inns Mount Washington Valley. Um, it's an end in tour, and you also have a stop at a couple of sugaring houses along the way, and there's this uh, big scavenger hunt that's part of it. That's awesome. And then at each inn, you get a treat. And the Cranmore Inn, which I also own and operate, uh, the our treat today is a maple tre leche cake. That sounds uh, amazing. And that's so the, that's going to be right at the inn. Yes. And Wonderful. so those people who are participating in the tour, this is the treat that you'll get when you come by the Cranmore Inn. And then each of the other inns that are participating also have uh, either a sweet or savory treat made somehow with mm -hmm. maple syrup. Wonderful. Which so, is all local New Hampshire maple syrup. Awesome. Because you can't get much better than that. <laughs> um, and you baked it right into the cake. Yes. All right. You know. So this end to end Maple Madness tour is going on right now. Well, not right now, but today. And it's going to be the scavenger hunt. How can they get in on the scavenger hunt? Well, if you wanted to kind of get tickets, uh, I would suggest that you call the inn at 603. 356-5502. Okay. I'm not there to answer the phone right this minute, but if you <laughs> leave a message, message. <laughs> I will call you back Excellent. if it's something you're interested in. Okay, and they can also go online for the menu items that we mentioned at chefs at bistronh.com. But if you want to take part in the Maple Madness uh, tour, you got to call 356-5502, uh, as Christopher mentioned. Okay, can we bust into that? Sure. So describe this cake for me. What I've never had this kind of cake. So it's a three milk cake. Uh, you have the recipe for the cake and you okay. bake the cake. And then once the cake is done, you then pour three different kinds of milk over top of the cake. So it creates a very kind of moist, wet cake. Wow. Uh, and then after you've poured the milk over, um, you uh, then create a whipped uh, cream topping or frosting and uh, that's over top of it. Right, so it's, it's decadent, <laughs> oh my goodness. you know. It sounds so good, man. <clears throat> not good for somebody who has a, a, a dairy allergy. I would not be one of those people, you know, thankfully. So. Mm. But it is very tasty. Oh. And tell you the truth, I don't eat, drink milk that often. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. I forget how much I love milk. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> and if you add a little bit of sugar to milk, oh, it, it makes it even It's deliciously even sweet, yes. but not overpowering. Right. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mind if I have enough? Sure. 
<clears throat> and then, you know, these are the treats that we're mm. giving away at the March Maple Madness. Oh my goodness. Uh, at the Bistro, we also have desserts on the menu, and we have a pastry chef who creates uh, a number of other uh, delicious desserts, including uh, some more sundae mm. uh, with ice cream and brownie and you know, You're all the best. Can you stuff. come back in like half an hour and bring the rest of the items? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just come hang at Chef's Beast Show and then come over to the inn today for Maple Madness? Sure. All right, great, because that sounds like a great day uh, to me. Christopher Bellis, Chef's Beast Show right here in North Conway, open seven days a week. They're doing lunch, doors open at 11? 11. And close at? Uh, 10 o'clock today. At 10 o'clock today, so you can get in all day long, enjoy some of the delectable treats that they have on the menu, whether it's an appetizer, a full-on entree, dessert, and they also have that full bar going on, too, so you can get a little festive. Yes. Christopher, thank you so much. Did you want to say anything else? Do we get more information no, out? I think okay. that we covered everything. Yeah, we've got to get you back to the phones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, folks, the Maple Madness Tour is going on today. It's end-to-end. -end. They do have some sugaring houses included in that, a great scavenger hunt, and tasty treats. So please join them, and you can call 356 5502 if you'd like to partake. Thanks again, Christopher. Thank you. All right, folks, we'll be back. We have more information about the events going on in the Mount Washington Valley as well as more Watch and Win. Stay tuned. Delicious. It's what people are saying about Chef's Bistro in North Conway Village. Enjoy food that is prepared fresh from local ingredients. Seafood from the coast of Maine. Beef and produce from nearby farms. Vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free options. Homemade desserts. All expertly crafted by seasoned chefs and presented in a casual bistro atmosphere. It's perfect for enjoying.